In my last video, I mentioned that there was still a lot of cool stuff to show you guys in Black Ops 2, and I promise that this one's not going to disappoint. What I have for you guys today is an unused image from the Black Ops 2 Zombies menus, and one of them in particular is pretty spicy. Now Luke, how did you come across this information? Well, I was actually browsing Google for some cool thumbnail images and some PNGs, and I came across a really interesting album on Imager. I have no idea who uploaded this, but it was really cool and I had to show you guys. Now from what I know, this is an unused image from Black Ops 2, and this is our first ever look at what Bus Route B could have been. And for those of you that haven't been around since 2012 and you don't understand the significance of this, I'm going to have Cherry tell you a little bit about the history of Bus Route B and the storyline implications. Bus Route B, a mystery that has plagued the entire zombie storyline ever since Black Ops 2. We thought we were finally going to get an answer with Black Ops 4 and maybe a transit remake, and there was definitely some cool stuff hidden in multiplayer to do with transit, but Bus Route B was still never explained. For those that don't know what Bus Route B actually was, it started in Transit Spawn Room within the bus depot where there was a placard that basically said Bus Route A and Bus Route B. Now this simple placard sent the entire community into a frenzy and we were all fascinated by this, wondering if there was extra content within Transit that we didn't actually have access to. We also had a few quotes from the driver Ted talking about it as well, but Treyarch never really gave us a solid answer. We were searching for years and I mean, we had Jimmy Zelensky the original lead on Treyarch Zombies, he, he even came out and he tweeted about it trying to get us to go into the game and look further into this. But years later we still have no answer to what it actually means. But this image that Luke is about to show you, or maybe he's already showed you, I have no idea where I'm going to be in this video, he just basically grabbed me, he's like hey you're the storyline nerd, can you come and record a little bit? And I was like sure, why not? Something we do know though is that Transit had to be heavily modified from what Treyarch originally wanted it to be, just simply because of the hardware limitations on the Xbox 360 and PS3 at the time, which everybody kind of knows why the fog was in the map and why it didn't look as great as we initially wanted it to be. But this could also explain why Bush Route B was actually cut and the plaque was just basically just a little, kind of not so much a teaser, but they kind of just left it in the game because it wasn't something important that they wanted to take out of it. But guys, I will let Russian take over from me again. I'm not too sure if he needs any more information from me, but I hope I explained what Bush Route B actually was and if he needs me to come back and explain what this picture actually means in terms of Bush Route B, then I will see you guys then. If not, have a good day guys. Like I said though, this looks like our first actual look at an alternate route that the bus could have taken within transit. If you do want to see the Immigrant album for yourself, then it'll be linked in the description and there's some other cool images in there as well. And I know that some of you are going to say that this is fake, but this does not look photoshopped at all because this would require so much skill that you literally have no idea, and doing a reverse google image search for this turns up zero and like absolutely nothing at all and I've run this through multiple reverse image searches. So if this was fan art then it would have been really really done very well and it must have been posted nowhere else before it was sent to me because it would have shown up in those reverse image searches. Anyway with this all being said though this is mind blowing because look at the detail in this image and especially the skybox which is just my favorite part of this image. It looks fantastic and I would love to see it in a future map. You can see everything in this image though, including the traffic light near the lava pit, the building with Juggernaut, and the church in the background. There's also a planet in the sky of some kind, which I'm not sure what it is, whether that's the sun or the moon or whatever that could be. But this is just something really cool though, since we've been waiting a long time to see what Bus Route B could have been, and to have it in front of our eyes is just a really cool nerd moment that I feel like you guys would love to see as well. The reason that we do know this is an alternate bus route though is because in the actual version of Transit we come in from the power area up through the bank and that's where it parks but in this image that you guys have seen this actually comes in from the blocked off area between the diner and the farm. So unless the bus is doing some mad stunts off of a giant cliff then I don't think that this was where they originally intended for that bus route to go. I am going to let Cherry talk again for another minute though, just about everything that's going on within this image and like I said, the storyline implications of everything and really break down the image into more detail. So I guess Russian actually brought me back on just to talk about the image really quickly before we head off. I want to take your attention to the nukes up in the top right hand corner which we know is from Moon and I want to take your attention to the zombies as well as the cracks in the floor. Since we've been talking about how this could actually be Bus Route B, this would actually imply that Bus Route B actually existed in between the time of the zombie apocalypse and when the nukes hit and it also implies that Bus Route B was actually destroyed when the nukes actually hit. But this opens up an entire fun discussion when it 
comes to a transit remake because also in Black Ops 4's multiplayer it does actually mention a little bit about the town. It goes on to say the town got deserted and then the lava came and then the zombies came and honestly guys I, I implore you to go and find a video on it. I don't know that much information at this moment on top of my head. I'm just trying to get this video done for Luke but it is really really dope and it brings up a really cool dis discussion on what a transit remake could be and could we actually see Bushroot be possibly in the future. But now that Cherry has explained everything in the video and all the storyline and the implications of this whole image, I do hope that you guys enjoyed the video. I am going to end it off here. I've actually been streaming over on Twitch the last few days and you guys have been really killing it with the support. We're trying to push for partners so please go follow me in the description down below. We're going to be streaming every single day over there for a ton of hours. I would also appreciate a like in the video, subscribe if you guys are new and turn on notifications. I love you guys so much. Thank you for watching. Peace.